Good afternoon. I wanted to create a quick video on some of the important aspects that you'll find in Chapter 3 and 4 in Excel. The first thing that I want to cover in Chapter 3 um, deals with changing the column width and the row height. For instance, you notice column A is kind of smushed here. It needs to be larger. If I'm going to change the column width, I cannot change just specific cells or a range of cells. I need to change the whole column. So I click on the letter A. When the letter A it has the whole column selected, yes, I can go ahead and put my mouse on the boundary line between A and B and drag it. But if I have a specific height in mind, it's much easier, I did that kind of fast, to right click and go to column width and type in. For instance, if I want 18.5. Same thing with row height. I can drag or I can right click and go to row height and I'm going to change it to 35, get a little bit bigger. Pretty easy. Um, that's for column width and row height. Now once in a while I want to add a column or a row. So for instance, let's say I want to have a column in between B and C. Then I select column C because the column I insert automatically goes to the left of the selected column. So if I wanted one between D and E, I would select column E. So since I want it between B and C, I select column C and I just go to insert sheet column. And there it is. If I want to delete it, I just click on delete once it's selected. Same thing for with row height, or to insert a row. I select the row, insert, row. Same thing to delete it. So inserting and deleting columns and rows is pretty easy. And you could right click and do it also, but I happen to use um, from the cells group in the home tab. Clearing data. Now if I want the data cleared from A3, I just select it and I could choose clear contents. Yeah, I could just go and delete it, but that's just another way to do it. Um, if I want to make these um, cells formatted to currency, I can select it and right click, format cells. And in the number tab right now, I'm on general, I could go to currency. I could choose how many decimal places I want, if any. I'm going to keep this at general, but that would be a way to do it. Or I'll do it and then I'll turn it back for you guys just so you can see. and then just undo it. So again, I right clicked, I went to format cells, and you see there's number, there's currency, um, accounting, different different types of categories. Click at what you need. Click OK, and we've got them in dollar signs now. The first time I did it just to number format instead of general. I'm going to undo it and go right back. Once in a while too, when I've created a little bit, um, some data in a spreadsheet, I kind of want to put colors with it and maybe change the font. And yes, I can do that on my own, but some people just don't like coordinating colors. So they would rather just go to the page layout tab and choose a theme. Themes are preset colors and font combinations that go together pretty well. So you can choose one you want and you could change it too. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of shading here and go home, fill it. Lots of different options. Um, usually the book will tell you the theme that it wants. So when you do themes, make sure you're looking. There's quite a few of them here and you have the right one chosen that they're asking for. And sometimes we just have you go and change colors and things on your own as we did here with this color. I'm going to go back to no color. I just out of the blue, I want to kind of show you. Do you see how um, Northwest Supplies and Products is kind of down a little bit? I'm going to go ahead and format that. Sorry, by, and the home tab, it was right here. If you notice, I'm going to move, I'm in, under the alignment, there's center align, and then I've got this down on the bottom. I'm going to go up, and it would choose for it to bring it up a little bit. Make it a little bit bigger. 
hiding and unhiding. Once in a while you have to hide a row or a column. So I select, for instance, row six, right click, and I can hide it. To bring it back, I select the row or columns above and below it, or to the left and the right of it, right click and unhide. A lot of people don't understand why you would hide it. I always use the grades, for example. If I were to bring you over to my desk and show you your grades, I would hide all of your classmates' grades. I don't want to delete them because I need them all there together, but if I'm showing you, I want you to come just look at just your grades. So I'm going to hide it. Some of the things with chapter four quickly that I wanted to cover are a lot of it's under the page layout tab. Margins, we have normal margins set, but if it asks for custom margin, you can just go and change it right here. If you need to center, for instance, what we have um, horizontally and vertically on your page, see it move it down, you can do that right here in the margins tab. Sheet, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but if I go to print preview, there's no grid lines, which absolutely drives me nuts because you know what? If I am printing a worksheet, I want the grid lines there. I don't want to have to take my finger or a ruler across to see the line. So I always add grid lines, especially if I'm printing. Once in a while, my, my row and column headers, the A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, to show also. You can do header and footer here also. Um, I you typically don't just type it in here. I would do custom header. And when you do, you've got sections left, center, and right, kind of just like with Word. I'll show you that another way here in a second. And here I could change things from portrait to landscape if need be. Scaling would be if I have everything and maybe it goes just one column goes on to the next page, then you know I might want to scale it down maybe to 80% so it all fits on one page. I go to print preview. You can see it's been scaled down. My grid lines show, my row and column headers show, my um, header and footer doesn't show because we haven't done that yet. So let's go back. And again, through insert, I could also go header, footer, and I would just go and type it in. Tab to get from one spot to the next, and I could choose right here, current date. I am going to go down to the footer. Okay. In the footer, I'm just going to choose page one to put in there. Now I'm going to go to print preview and look at it. I've got my name, I've got the date, and I've got the page. So a lot of the things that you're going to see in column three or in chapter three and four, a lot of them have to do with just playing around. Um, you'll notice a lot of your options are in your page setup. Let me get back up there. In your page setup right here a lot of them are also just simply on your home tab right now I'm viewing this in page layout I'm going to go back to normal notice when you're in normal view you don't typically see your header and footer so if you want to see it you need to go to page layout if you need to see it I will look at it and grade it in page layout so I will see it um, another thing is your um, and it's on page layout too is your print area maybe I just want to print up through row five so I select row five I go to print area set it now when I go to print preview not let me go that way you see that's the only part that shows however you need to remember and I know this is on the test too it might have you clear a print area after you've set the print area and you've done what you've wanted, usually print something, I need to go and clear it so it's back to normal when I need it to be back to normal. The last thing I'm going to show you um, is something in Chapter 4, and that's sorting things in ascending or descending order. These salespeople, I want their names to be in ascending order. So if I go to the Home tab, I go to Sort and Filter, Sort A to Z, and it's going to tell me this because it's saying, hey, do you want me to also, for instance, move Martinez's first half and second half with him and we do because we don't want you know Bolton's going to be first and we don't want him getting somebody else's um, information so sort and if you look Martinez data followed with him that's about it that I need to show you from three and four let me know if you have any questions they're pretty straightforward chapters and hard to believe but we only have about 
a week and a half more of Excel before moving on to Access and PowerPoint. Have a good day.